that's secure. Just line everything up. Yes, yes, yes. No. Okay, I'm just going to do this off camera. Be right back. Alpha, this alpha is back. Prepare for him a hard work with attitude. Hello and welcome to the next episode of Build the Megazord where we're looking at issue 110 and 111 this time. Yes, two issues in one because we're, as we're entering the last 10 issues of the Megazord, I just want to get it built. I just want to get it complete. So there will be multiple issues thrown together for the rest of this video series. And we are starting on the last and final leg, the second leg of the T-Rex because the T-Rex only has two legs. So we're going to start off with this part here. I'm just going to bring this down and I'm going to plug in one of these connectors just like that there. We've seen that many many times before and then we're just going to pop that aside and bring in this bit here and we're just going to put in this metal bit here. This obviously again once again is the joiner to attach it to uh, the leg swords when Megazord mode is activated. And then um, it would be, we would be putting this part in there like that as well. But uh, that is loose and it's not secure. So the next thing we have to do is get uh, this part here and we're gonna push this part through there. And I'm just gonna go ahead and screw that in. And there it is all done and I just whisked that off camera at the end there just to make sure that these screws were nice and secure because the last thing we need is kind of a loose part. Um, okay then we need to get this part here and this just slides in here like that so there's a little gap hole there we go just on there like that and we're just going to put this aside and bring part bring this part back in there like so and then we've got the ring part just make sure we get this right in there like that yep yeah, that's correct <clears throat> then what we have to do is we need to put this part in here which is one of the joining parts this just fits very nicely into that hole there and then we get this part and um, we should have pushed it through just a bit more there we go so we've got a hole there where that will sit on there like that and then to secure this all up just take this part flip it around oh, he says I wonder if that's meant to be more secure than in there? No, it's definitely there, okay. Oh, this is going to be fun lining all this up. Not. That's already come loose. Okay, let's try this again. All right, I wonder if it's worth actually doing it the other way. So we'll put that part back on there like that. Um, that part is meant to go on in here sorry that way so if I just yeah, bend that around make sure that's there and push that okay I know what I'm going to do I'm going to push this part in there to secure that there we go and then I'm going to put <laughs> oh this is fun and then I'm going to put this part in there like that and now that that's secure, just line everything up. Yes, yes, yes. No. Okay, I'm just going to do this off camera. Be right back. There we go. It's so weird that even though it's the exact same parts, um, 
as the other leg. I didn't have a problem with the same things I've had a problem with this time around. And I always find that fascinating when you get kind of multiple parts with part builds that the, the parts that went wrong the first time you built that set of identical parts are never the same things that go wrong when you um, build it the second time. And I've always found that quite interesting. Um, it, it, you know, it probably is like slight shifts in the way things are molded, a bit of extra plastic, millimeters left of plastic um, compared to the two, but I, I just always think it's interesting that um, what I thought would be an easy first video talking about the second leg turned out not to be the case. And as I just screw this part up there, at least it's all worked out in the end. We've got a functioning kneecap, we've got a functioning connector part there, looking lovely. And so the final thing that we have to do, I'll just show you this way, is just seal up this screw hole here with this part here, which has got a joiner there. Push it on there like that. It's pretty seamless, you wouldn't tell at all. So that is the first part of the second leg all done. Uh, and that is it for this video. So join me next week where we're gonna be continuing with this second leg. So until then guys, take care, bye bye.